What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna give away 30 brand new free social media assets. We're gonna have subscribe, comment, like, share, notification bell, and all the different pop-ups that you might want to use with your videos. There's also going to be two separate bundles for this, one which is free, the 1080p, and one which is 4K, which is optimized for LumaFusion to maintain all the quality in the animation, where you also get the raw animation so you can customize them a little bit different yourself, and we're gonna go through the entire process. There is going to be three words in this video where you need to find the three words, put them together, and then go to the link in the description below, type in the password, and you can download the 1080p project for free. So if you've been joining me on this before, you should know exactly when and where to find the words, and then you can just hit the link and type it in, and yes. So there's also some included uh, animations from some of you guys, which you uh, gave me the idea, and it, sort of requested that you wanted to have as well. So we're gonna have some Jeeps, some DJ stuff, Mr. DJ Bird, and we're also gonna have some waves. So if you have any idea of any a future social media pop-up uh, lower thirds or anything that you want to request type it down in the comment section below make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the whilst whilst well, when you're down there and then um, the like button for the algorithm if this video hits 500 likes I'm gonna drop another free bundle for you that was quite a long intro for something which is free right so without further ado let's head over to the iPad let's take a look at the process from the files folder over to how we use them yeah so after you downloaded the zip file from the website, you will be able to locate them within the download section of your files folder. Now I already moved these over to my Samsung T5, meaning I can just plug this into my other iPad and I will have the presets available. Now this is coming in two versions, one which is 4K optimized for LumaFusion and one which is 1080p. Now the free one is 1080p and if you decide to get the 4K one, you will also get the 1080p and you will get all the icons which you see here on the screen or the animations I mean so if we take a look at uh, uh, this one for example these will be included so you are free to customize them as you want in a better way to maintain most of the quality now when it comes to the animation of any of these uh, you cannot customize the animation the animation is pre-made so it's easier for you to just drag and drop above your projects and then maintain the quality let's move over to Luma Fusion so we can take a look at the animations here. We're gonna go with the 1080p, the free one here, and it's important to understand that once you downloaded the zip file and extracted that, you will have this Luma Fusion package. So to open this in the fastest, best possible way, you go into Files folder, locate the Luma Fusion package, and you tap on it one time. Now this will automatically open a project in Luma Fusion, and you can see all the different animations here. So this bundle contains 30 animations both for the 4k and for the 1080p version so the 1080p has a little bit lower quality than the 4k and you can also see all the different animations here on the side now for the three words it's going to be three words popping up on the screen and you put those three words together and then you will have another word which you paste in the password section for in the link down in the description below so click on that once you have the three words and put the words together and you will have your password to unlock the free version now let's go on and take a look at the different animations here and how we use them it's really really straightforward and you basically uh, just copy them and paste them in your project and then you resize and change the colors if you want to do that so let's move over and uh, let's just import a video here since we have the 4k uh, version right here we're gonna go over to let's just use uh, this one so we're gonna drag this over to the timeline here and if we just play that through these are also the uh, creators 
travel LUTs if you are interested in uh, uh, some cinematic LUTs for uh, for your videos as well containing uh, 206 different LUTs for most of the cameras that all of us use when we are traveling like iPhones, Osmo Action, GoPro and so on. Now let's say we want to have an animation popping up here. We want to have, uh, let's see, this one. It contains some poems and also subscribe button and the uh, Jeep as well. Some of these animations were actually requested in the community tab as well when I was asking if you guys had any ideas for some lower thirds and there was some asking for some Jeeps and also some DJ and some uh, what was the other one? That was the wave. So we have a wave coming in here with a subscribe button as well. Quite funny to make animations on request and uh, let's go over to this one right here we have the poems coming in and uh, as we see here we have the jeep as well the subscribe button and then everything just drives away and one way you can use something like this uh, for example let's go into edit and we can go over to frame and fit we can resize it and if we want it to be down here on the bottom we can just place it there and if we want it to be you know just in the middle of the screen we can actually go into the video clip itself which is underneath so let's go to this point right here we can go into edit color and effects and we can add a gaussian 20 and let's just pull that to zero and we can make a keyframe here and we can go to the point right here and make another one and if we do that to the end of the animation as well, so something like that and just pull it a little bit to the right and we can go to these two in the middle here and if we reset this, let's, let's go with the 10. So if we do a playback of this now, we can see that the Gaussian blur is coming in and actually strengthen the animation a little bit so it looks a whole lot cleaner. And then we're back to the normal image again without the blur. Now I'm not going to go through every single one of these here because it's uh, basically the same as this one. You customize them and you place them where you want them to be and, and so on. But we have one here which is quite funny. This is uh, a record player uh, or uh, a turntable and this actually has a spinning uh, disc. So if I just just scale this in a little bit uh, so it's easier to see here on the screen for you guys, uh, we can actually see that we have the uh, uh, turntable coming in and then we have the disc and once the uh, whatever you call this I'm, I'm not sure but once this is starting you know to play the disc uh, we have some wave going on to the disc here which is illustrating that the disc is actually sort of spinning or playing and yeah it's, it's a fun little fun little you know request and it was a fun animation to make as well so this is also uh, one which is included here and we also have some other here we have the the wave so if we put that over here we have the uh, the wave with the subscribe button coming in here so if we just go to edit on this and we can scale it up make sure that we find the position right here and we can place that down in the bottom left section here and if we do a playback of that it's quite fun fun animation to make as well we have the wave and subscribe button coming in and we have the hit when we hit the subscribe and then we have the wave washing it away another one which is quite cool uh, is um is this uh, Mr. DJ Bird here, which is uh, also something that you can use as a transition. So if we drag that over to the clip here and just place it down here, we can take a look at that and we have the um, the DJ Bird, Mr. DJ Bird coming in here and then it zooms in uh, with some pre-made motion blur as well and once this is gone we get over to the subscribe button which has some shake to it and right here at the end when the subscribe button is coming in you can actually cut away and make another clip appear right here so if we delete this 
and we just take something completely different here. If we take a look now and see the bird subscribe button and once this is coming in, we can have that as a transition. So if we play that through, we have the subscribe button and then we have the transition. Now for customization, when it comes to colors, let's go over to, uh, let's just take these palms here. We can just keep them there going into edit. Let's add an original color preset. And if we go to the point where they are visible, you can use the red, green and blue sliders here to actually change the colors. And you can also, of course, use the hue and you can use the tint here, depending on the colors that you want on the different animations. So that, that's basically how you um, use them. And uh, it's basically drag and drop. So if you want to have some of these over to a different project, so let's say we want to have just a casual notification bell here. What I'm gonna do is to just select it, copy this and going over to another project here. Let's go for this one. And let's say we want to have that here. What I'm going to do now is actually paste it at the end here because this is going to be on track number two. So if we paste this now, you can see it's on track number two. And if we place this above the clips here, you can see that we have the notification bell coming in here. And the reason why this is on track number two is because you copied this from track number two. So as we can see here now, this is now on track number two. So if you move it up to track number five or six, and you then do a copy, going back to your uh, other project here. So let's go to another one. We can go to uh, this one, for example, and then paste. We can see that this is now placed on track number five. So that's basically how you copy and paste them over to your current projects. Now, if you have the uh, 4K version, you will get the entire folder here with all the different animations with different names and so on. So you can preview them here and then you can simply drag them over to your timeline like this and then customize them as you want with the transparency and with opacity changes and also um, adding some luma key and make them transparent and then keep more of the uh, full 4k quality now the animation like i said is not adjustable so you cannot adjust anything of the animation uh, but you can customize the color and how transparent and, and all of that you want to have it as well so there we have the brand new free social media icon pop-up uh, bundle or whatever I should call it. So if you got the three words, make sure to put them together, then you will have a, another word and you take that word and post, post and paste, paste on the password section in the password section from the link down in the description below. And then you can download these 1080p uh, animations and use them for free. So that's also one thing I recommend, test them out before you decide to, to get the 4K pack and uh, yeah. That's gonna be the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed them. Make sure to uh, to link the um, link the link to me on Instagram uh, if you decide to use uh, these uh, in your YouTube videos. And if you use this with your Instagram post, make sure to tag me so I can check out how you use these animations for your Instagram reel or post or video, whatever you decide to do on your Instagram. And that's gonna be the end of today's video. Again, thanks for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like for the algorithm if you wanna see more free stuff as well. And with that said, that's gonna be the end and I see you next time.